Hello PYs. So let me guess, you do blogging, content creation, or affiliate marketing, or even selling products online. Then this video, is absolutely for you. Many business owners use Pinterest to bring external traffic, which helps a lot, to grow your business in 2022. As you can see in the statics, Pinterest has over 900 million visits every month, which is absolutely insane. You can literally use this traffic, to grow your business, if you know how to use it the right way it should be. So for today, I will share with you, how to upload multiple pins, as much as you want automatically, using simple Python bot, which gonna boost your account faster. So make sure to watch the video till the end. So in order to make this bot, you need two main things. Python, and text editor. So make sure to install them, before doing what I'm going to show you right now. You will find the links in the description below. So I've just created this brand new account to show you, how the bot works. And make sure you have a business Pinterest account, not a personal account, otherwise, the bot will not work for you. Also, I want to mention this Ninja Pinner tool, that some people use it to grow their accounts. But it's not for free, if you go to the pricing section, you can see it costs around $28, for one Pinterest account, which is great, if your account is already getting very good attention. But if you still beginner, no need to spend your money on paid tools. Cause I will show you, the mass auto upload feature, for free, no need to pay anything. This feature is the main factor, that gonna help you to grow your Pinterest account in 2022, so make sure to follow along with me. And here we go, this is our Pinterest bot, that we're going to use for today. It's called, Pinterest Automatic Upload. It's about automatically upload as many pins as you want to Pinterest, so no more manual work from now. Actually, I'm gonna give him a star, he deserve it, despite some errors I faced using this bot, cause he didn't made some updates. But no worries, I covered everything for you, to use this Pinterest bot properly. Let's start by downloading the zip file. Now extract the files. Open the folder. As usual go to the path, and type cmd. Then, we need to install the requirements, by typing this following command, pip install, dash r, requirements.txt. During this process, in case the command didn't work for you, you probably faced one of these two issues. The first one is, the pip couldn't find a version that satisfies the requirement. So make sure to read this article, it helps many people to solve the issue. I will leave all the links that shows on the video in the description below. And for the second issue, it's about, the pip is is not recognized as an internal, or external command. This article shows you step by step, how to fix the problem in many ways. Back to our work now. Let's discover our folders. For the assets folder, we will use it to store our login informations. I'll show you later how to do it. And for the data folder, it's a place where we need to save our data pins, such as title, description, image, links, and so on. You can use Excel, or JSON file, it's up to you, both of them works fine. The next step is, get into coding. So back to CMD, and type, code dot, then the text editor you installed will open. On the left side, you can see our folders and files. Click on main.py. This is the code, that we are going to work on, and no need to know all of these things, cause we will just add, and change some bunch of code. After that, the first thing we're going to do is, set up the Chrome driver. Make sure you already have Google Chrome browser on your computer. Then we need to download the Chrome driver, that is compatible, with the actual version of our Google Chrome browser. If you want to know the version, of your Google Chrome browser, click on this link. As you can see, my version is Chrome 103. So back, and click on Chrome driver executable link. And download your compatible version. Extract the WinRAR, and this is the Chrome driver that we need to run the bot. Your next step is, copy this Chrome driver, and paste it in the assets folder. The second step is, we need to provide our Pinterest email and password to the bot, so he can log in. In order to do that, go back to the assets folder. You can delete this one, you don't need it, and create two text documents, name them as email, password, and type your login details as it's shown. Now your assets folder, is completely set up successfully. Let's move on to the data folder. In this section, we have two options here, 
using Excel, or JSON. Let me show you how to use JSON to add your pins data, since everyone already know how to deal with Excel. So the structure of JSON is so simple. This is the first pin. The second one. And this is the last pin. You can add as many pins as you want, by keeping the same structure. Also, don't forget to add comma, between each pin. For the last one, don't add anything, leave it empty. For my pins, I'm going to share for example, this two images. Copy the path of the image. And because I want to share only two pins, I will delete the last pin, and remove the comma, since it's the last one. Now, let's add our pins data. Enter the name of the pin board you created on Pinterest. And here, paste the image path. Make sure to add two backslash. Type your title, description, all text, and the link URL that you want your visitors to visit. In my case, I will put my YouTube video URL. For the date section, first you should know, this bot publish your pins at a specific time. We all know Pinterest publish your pins at a certain sharp hour, or in the 30 minutes of a certain hour. So make sure to add your date between these two options. For the next pin is the same thing, so I'll skip the process. Now time to code. Let's start by typing this code. Import time, as T. This module provides waiting time between each process. You're going to see what I mean later. Scroll down to the line 185. You can see these multiple functions, that do the work for us, like uploading the image, writing the title, and so on. All the function's roles are commented with the green color. Let's put a wait time between each function, so the upload process become more realistic. Type this command t.sleep, and I will give it for example 5 seconds. This function is about upload an image or a video, but it doesn't work anymore. So make sure to replace it with this one. I'll leave the code in the description as well. Next thing, as you can see I'm still giving a wait time between each process, make sure to do the same as well. In the description function, delete span slash br. The last step is to modify the time code. Make sure to replace the code with this new one. Also, you can change AM to PM, depends on the time you want to publish your pins. And that's it, time to run our bot. Back to CMD. Type python main.py. The bot tell us to choose the file. Since we're using JSON file, we will type number one. The bot start working perfectly, and it uploads our pins in a fast way. The great thing about this bot, you can publish as much pins as you want, and you don't need to upload them manually, so let the bot work for you. If you have any questions related to this bot, you can leave a comment below, or you can join our telegram group, where I'm more active there. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe in my channel, and I'll appreciate it, if you hit the like button as well. See you next time guys.